Visualization of the root of things when adults throw their desperation at a play of dress up distraction, especially at their sexy booty. <laughs> when children ransom cuteness for the booty of a sugar coma and the great wheel gives summer the boot. It's Samhain, too. Another turning of the year, mill of the gods that grinds exceeding fine whatsoever lies between the stones and tells us beyond the worries of the workaday with demands on us to consume, costume consumer, as the wheel turns to a darkening of the year and feckoned life declines, withdraws, and disappears from view to cultivate the fire within. Hunter Moon looms above the tree line, tugs at every blessed thought and thing, especially at my attention. And while I can admire the light she casts and the pull, the pull, the pull in my veins, I know she tugs the tide rising in the east to horrendous overflowing. Hurricane X, Y, Z, Frankenstorms, blood spilled skies red with firestorms, show us yet again, again, yet ever, the awesome power of nature, never spent, of Mother Nature. Mother Nurture, Mother Kali, to spawn and to destroy creation. And so we turn to storming, too, with urges both to life and to destruction. Deniers still insist they must deny to render us as children in the dance and stand against the climate crisis cry, the dance of motion and of consequence, of to and fro, of light and dark, the fire and its smoldering spark. Um, just a little bit of a heads up about something, and I'm all about, especially the climate crisis, but uh, the, um, the devaluing of science that we have under the current power structure. And so I've attempted to put together a, a bit of a movement of a, an alliance of the arts and science, particularly uh, with readings about the nexus of human endeavor and nature vis-a-vis -vis, um, scientific exploration. And uh, I, I encourage anybody who's interested in this kind of thing to visit Facebook and, and look up The Widening Gyre, which is the name of the project. Thank you.